Hi and thanks for watching. I was sent this barbecue to do an honest review. It's called the Zenf Flat Pack Stainless Steel Barbecue. Comes in this case, it's nice and flat. So I've just come to this park today just to give it a give it a test. I've got my little helper with me. Yeah, finally got a nice day. It's been raining for how long? So yeah, I'll get out now and show you what it's like. Yeah, so this is the barbecue. Packs down nice and flat. I mean it weighs 3.5 kilo, but I think it'd be perfect for like people in camper vans or beach parties, beach barbecues, that kind of thing. I mean it's not that heavy, I've carried it today with my rucksack and it's quite lightweight really. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a test out and see what it's like. Well, you can see how easy it is to set up. You just turn it upside down, it just falls out and you're ready to go. So it takes about two seconds to put together. It's got a nice little bit of cooking earlier as well. I mean, obviously it'd be a bit too heavy to, to go wild camping with, but going out for the day in your rucksack or a trip to the beach or whatever, or if you're using a camper van or going to a festival, family camping, that kind of thing, then I think it's perfect. But even as like just a barbecue to use in your garden, packs down really nice. Yeah, so we'll give it a test out now. Yeah, I just bought a disposable barbecue to use the coal from it. And then use the, the metal base there to protect the grass. Just waiting for the coal to whiten now. Loads of blackberries around here. All starting to ripen nicely now. There's been two buzzards flying overhead as well. Coming really close down as well. Always nice to see. Lovely day for it. I mean, I've been meaning to do this with you for a while now. Last two weeks have been, been really bad weather torrential rain and really bad wind. Nice to be out again. That barbecue should take about five, ten minutes, it'll be ready. What do you think, mate? Yeah, we're actually in Allerton Tower Park today, in Liverpool. Which used to be the site of a big, big manor house where the Earl family used to live. But now there's just ruins that remain. I'll, I'll have a little walk through the ruins at the end, I'll show you. Yeah, it's got some really interesting history. I'll leave a link as well in the description of the, some of the history to it, and a story from um, Tom Slemon. It's supposed to be reputedly haunted, and it was the site of a murder years ago. supposed to be haunted by a grey lady, the grey lady of Alton Tower. So I'll just add that information in the description as well and I'll leave a link to the description in the description of this barbecue as well from Amazon. I mean I don't get anything if anyone purchases it, just I'm just doing the honest review. And if anyone like, likes the look of it then they can purchase it. From what I've seen of it so far it looks a really good good bit of kit. Packs down nicely. I mean, it'd suit people with um, camper vans and caravans, that kind of thing. Or just to set to the beach for the day, or even in your back garden. Nice little barbecue. Quality stainless steel, packs down nice and flat, so it's easy to store. Another five minutes, it'll be ready. West Country Cheddar Gourmet Burgers. Burgers with cheddar cheese already mixed into them. Coming on nicely then now, you can see all the cheese seeping out, it's really nice. Lovely day for it now. 
with saw on the Swiss Army knife comes in handy for cutting buns. Does the job nicely. British boozy bangers. Is that nice, mate? Good man. Well, I've said it before, it's not a proper barbecue unless your sausages are burnt to a crisp. There, come on. <laughs> I love sausages when they're cooked on a barbecue and they're nice and charred like this. We the nice these. Well, I can honestly say I really enjoyed that. And I'm impressed with this. Where's he got off to now? See if we can find him. Typical upper tree. You alright, Matey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cute. Looks an old tree as well. I can climb as high as I want. I can climb. Yeah, be careful, mate. Just let the coals cool down a bit more, then they'll pack away. But from what I've seen so far, I'm impressed with this barbecue. I have done a few reviews lately with people sending me stuff, and I'll always give an honest review. So when I was asked about this, it fits in with what I do, and if anything fits in with what I do on my channel, then I'll always test something out and give my honest opinion on it. Just gonna chill out here now, let the coals cool down, then get packed up and make our way home. It's been a really nice afternoon, really enjoyed it. When you're finished with the barbecue, just tip out the ash. I've just tipped it into this tin foil, tin air from the disposable barbecue. And then just turn the barbecue upside down and it just collapses in on itself. Literally takes two seconds to put away or to put up. And just packs back into its case. Right then, it's all back in its case. Just folded um, all the remaining ash into that tin foil. I'm gonna take all our rubbish with us now. It's been a nice day. What do you think, mate? Good. Right then, I'm gonna leave the video here. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.